if I give, if I raise the voltage of a neuron, I can predictably 100% make sure this neuron is going to fire an action potential, send that message down the axon. Uh, but then as it goes to kind of higher scales, now we have these networks of neurons that they're kind of coupled together strongly. Mm -hmm. um, of course, physically, everything is still deterministic, but you get into cases where the behavior of a single neuron might not be, you know, might be sometimes fail on individual cases, for example, me reaching out a hand, a neuron in my brain might activate 50% of the time that I do that. So that's where kind of the, the network effects start to come into play, where it's not necessary for, you know, every neuron to behave like a calculator. Mm -hmm. For the system as a whole, is kind of a, a, a larger scale uh, to behave relatively, you know, deterministically. And um, then it comes to, of course, things that make us more human are the fact that we cannot always be um, reliably predicted, right? Um, and exactly how that kind of decision propagates from kind of the lowest levels of single neurons firing through to networks that, you know, they may go one way or another in their kind of activation patterns. Uh, and me ending up saying one thing or another, um, you know, that's, that's the kind of, you know, kind of fascinating thing that um, we hope that one day we'll get closer to, to, to understanding.